Hey, what's up? Okay. Just want to turn it off. Hey, what's up? It's me, Raven. Um, I want to talk to you about something that was, like, bothering me and stuff like that, you know, and, you know, I try to talk about different things within, you know, um, reason and stuff, and this is the thing. Oh, this here. You know, I do my videos and stuff like that because I'm talking in reference to, you know, transitioning and stuff like that. You know, a lot of girls go through different avenues, you know, with their transition and stuff like that, and you know, they want people to help them, and, you know, you try to find somebody that you could kind of, like, trust and stuff, you know, to help you with your transition and stuff like that. So, it just brought me back to this thing of when I was first transitioning back, you know, back in the day and stuff like that before, you know, all the oopalas, you know, the perks. Anyway. So I went to this transsexual girl, she was Spanish, she was Puerto Rican, and the reason why I'm making this video is that I just want you to know one thing in life, you never know, you never know how your life is going to turn out. And the thing about it is, I went to this transsexual stuff like that, and I saw her, I was at the club, and I was performing, and I saw her, and I was like, I want her to help me, you know, with my transition and stuff like that, because I felt like she was very beautiful. And due to the fact I thought she was very beautiful, I was like, you know, I think you're very beautiful. Whatever you're taking, could you teach me? Because I want somebody, you know, to steer me in the direction that you went to. Because I don't want to, you know, get caught out there doing all the wrong things. And she was a Spanish chick and stuff like that. And, you know, I always, you know, with me, um, a lot of times people take me, don't know how to take me, girls don't know how to take me, because I always show them love and stuff like that. And I don't know if a lot of girls show each other love, but I always do. You know, and it's kind of, sometimes you show girls love, they think you want to be with them, and no, that's not the case. I always feel as though my journey is like your journey and stuff like that. So, you know, I try to be, you know, supportive and stuff like that when it comes down to stuff like that. Anyway, that being said, so... I went to this girl, she was a Spanish chick, she was in New York City and stuff like that, and I had went to her and I asked her, you know, as far as helping my transition, and she just looked me in my face and she just laughed, and I asked her, I said, well, um, could you teach me like on some other places, you know, where I could go to and just get work, she says, oh girl, you're fine just the way you are, and I know it wasn't fine. You know, I knew she was lying, I knew she didn't want to help me, and the thing about it was, you know, I didn't know the different avenues that the girls have to go through, you know, in order to transition and stuff like that. Anyway, that being said, so, I ran into her years later, and this is the thing about me, a lot of girls don't realize that I know that they talk about me behind my back, as well as the guys and stuff that I don't, just because I don't say nothing, don't think I don't know. And this is the thing, so I saw her again at Escalators, which is in a club in New York City, I seen her, she was over the Kiki, and they was, you know, they pointed me out, her and a couple other Spanish chicks, they don't know that I know that they talk about me, because when you talk about, remember, it's always somebody in the group that comes back and delay the message. Anyway, that being said, so I saw her again, and she looked over at me, and she knew I had transition, and she was like, oh, look at your body, so she starts poking, oh my God, it's soft, oh wow, she starts shaking it, and I'm standing up there, and I'm looking at her. Now, you know me, my attitude, but I always don't act this way with the transsexual so much so back then that I do now, because now, mm, but back then I was in shock because I was like, well, I had asked you about the doctor and stuff like that, and at this time, the girl who was working on my body was Joan and from New York City. She's an older woman. Then it went to Kelly Harper, which she's the late Kelly Harper and stuff like that. Anyway, so she was like, well, who did your body? Of course, I didn't answer her. I said, well, I don't know, and I walked away. So then she looked at me all up and down and stuff like that. I'm a thing. And then it was like a collection of, because you know how they have them house children. And I'm not going to give her any, any names. But it's an Escalitas. You can draw your own conclusion because there's quite a few of y'all up there. No shade. So she was throwing shade and stuff like that and stuff like that. And, you know, I was like, whatever. And I ignored her. She saw me again and she pointed me out to her friends and she laughed. So, you know, I would like to share this video with her through my transition. You know, thank you for not helping me. And... Thank you for not, um, you know, being a friend, basically. Just looking out for me, as I would do for you. Like I tell a lot of transsexuals, and I made videos in reference to, you know, trying to help the transsexual girls, because I know what you go through, and I'm not perfect. I fuck up just like anybody else. I did videos, I did stuff like that, you know, to try to help you with your transition. And to the girl, you know, that I would love to um, tell you this video and stuff like that, because, you know, you laughed at me, and every time you saw me, you laughed, and I'm watching you win stuff because you were so pretty, you were so beautiful. I want to tell you this, about this, you know, and I want to thank you. 
I want to thank you for not helping me. But I can't thank you, can I? Because somebody killed you. And somebody killed you a long time ago. And the shade is, I want to say so much, but I can't. But I did a video in reference to you. It's funny. You wouldn't help me, but I did a video in reference to you about something happening to you to try to look out for somebody, to, to try to find out what happened to your ass. I did a video to try to find out what the fuck went down with you and why did this happen to you. And then the reward that you gave me was a fucking laugh. And now you're sitting in the fucking ground dead because you got fucking murdered. And then I'm doing all this kind of shit to show you how much of a friend I was. Because my heart went out to you even though you looked at me like I was shit. But you may have had the first laugh. But honey, who gets the last laugh? And I'm not saying I'm laughing at the person that's dead or something. Because like I said before, I do videos in reference to girls being murdered and stuff like that. Because my heart goes out to them. But my thing is this whole video is to let you know. Do not be mean to your other transsexual sisters. Just because you don't walk the life or they don't not be as passable. Or may not be as beautiful as you. You never know when that person going to be the one to stand up and stand up there for you. And there's another girl as well too. And she's a big girl. And she's a black girl. And she's in Jersey. I'm not going to say her name either. This bitch cannot stand me for life. But I'm going to tell you something. This black bitch was in the village fighting two motherfucking boys. And I know she can't stand me. Her friends stood around and I went in for the fight with her. And I joined in with her. Do you know this black bitch to this day now still don't speak to me when I was the one that saved her motherfucking ass? Anyway. So this is the reason why I'm a little shady and stuff like that, and then I drop the camera a little bit, but you know, this is the reason why I'm a little shady and stuff like that. Sometimes when it comes to the girls, there's no personal stuff, but it is what it is. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there for you girls who like to read other girls and talk about them so fucking bad. Remember, you never know who's going to be the one to have your back in the end. That's why you need to be much more nice to the people, because you never know. You never fucking know who's beyond that door that's there to help you out. Everybody that you thought would have your back did not. Anyway, that being said, I just want to put that out there because I'm so tired of y'all fucking fake ass trannies doing that dumb shit. Anyway, that being said, I just want to put it out there and go tell my hair if I'm about to take a bath. So, anyway, it is what it is. So, you do you. You do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. Alright?